Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Hopefully everyone is having a great day as always. Not only was 1967 a very cool year for coin collecting here in the United States, but it was also for our friends north of the border in Canada. Canada was celebrating their 100th anniversary and they made a bunch of very cool circulating commemorative coins. You might see the one in the center right here has appeared on a couple of the Big D coins videos so far. But we'll also talk about this coin right here, which was the five cent coin for the uh, 100th anniversary. Not featured, but we'll talk about it is the 10 cent coin, which has a mackerel fish on it. And then we've got the coin to the left, which is the 25 cent coin. Interestingly, they made this in both the 80% silver and the 50% silver. So very cool that they made it in two different uh, silver percentages. However, it's actually kind of hard to differentiate between the two just by looking at it. If you're looking at a coin, you can pretty easily tell if it's got silver or copper nickel clad, but just by looking at it, it's almost impossible to tell if it's 50% or 80% silver. And behind it, of course, uh, you see her right here. It is Queen Elizabeth II, and she is on a 100th anniversary, um, 100th anniversary kind of dollar bill right here. So we've got the uh, logo for the celebration right here. We see 1867 and 1967 at the top left. So we'll zoom out and take a look at that as well. So we have got a lot of coins to look through. First, I want to give you some background on the United States coins. I'll make this very quick, but I just want to share with you the different mintages that were going on in in uh, United States at this time uh, because we were experiencing some cool things here as well. So we've got a 1967 penny. We've got a 1967 uh, quarter. We've got a 1967 quarter, as I mentioned right here. So what was going on in the United States is they just removed all of the silver from their coins. So previously quarters and dimes had silver in them. There was also a bit of a coin shortage. So they removed all of the mint marks from the coins. Normally these would have uh, either Philadelphia mint or Denver mint. In 1965, 66, and 67, they took all of those mint marks off and they made uh, just these ones right here with no mint marks on them. And the mintages on these coins are astronomically high. So for the penny in 1967 in the United States, there are over 3 billion of these that were made. Uh, when we go to the quarter, that also had really high mintages on it. 1967 US quarter. This had uh, 1.5 billion of these were made. The nickel right here is a little bit lower. That uh, drops down to um, 107 million. So uh, 3 billion, 1.5 billion, 107 million. So there are a lot of these coins being made uh, here in the United States. At the same time, they were going through this celebration for Canada, which I imagine they had planned for quite a long time. Now let's get into it right here. Here is our circulating commemorative coin. This coin right here is the regular issue coin in case you're unfamiliar with it. So we have um, on the left, we have the Canadian uh, regular issue coin. And then this one right here is the commemorative coin. So I'll slide that out and start talking about just this coin right here, zoomed in so you can see that rock dove on the reverse. What you're looking at right here is the reverse side of the coin, which features a rock dove in flight. It's surrounded with the face value and the inscription Canada 1867 to 1967. Again, this is the 100th anniversary Canadian coin. This coin right here is a bronze metal composition, which is mostly copper. It's 98% copper. Uh, the value of this coin is just one uh, Canadian cent, which translates to about 0.7 United States cents. This coin was only made in 1967. There are 345,140,000 of these that were made. So there are over 345 million of them that were produced. There were also proof coins made, uh, which included this coin as well but I don't have the mintages on that in front of me. This coin has to be in the kind of extra fine AU uncirculated grades for it to be worth, um, worth you know, looking into and actually possibly 
uh, selling it because at the uncirculated grade, at the entry level uncirculated grade, it'll be worth about 99 cents. Now let's move on to some more valuable coins because we're going up in value and up in uh, rarity as well. So we had 345 million of these that were produced. Any guesses on how many of the nickels were made? Well, there are just 36 million of the nickels made, and these are going to be worth about a dollar in the uncirculated condition. So there are 36,876,000 of these that were produced. The currency is the uh, Canadian dollar. As you can imagine, the metal content is nickel, as you can imagine. And on the reverse, what you see is a hopping rabbit. It's surrounded with the face value in the inscription Canada, 1867 to 1967. So they keep the designs pretty simple with just one animal on the reverse. Nothing else too fancy going on on the back side. Now we won't spend too much time talking about the obverse side of these coins because uh, all we see is Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, this is a portrait of her at age 39. It'll be consistent on all three of the Canadian coins we look at, plus the coin the dime, which we talk about, which we don't have in front of us right here. But that would be a good time for me to talk about it. So we've hit upon the penny. We have talked about the nickel. Let's bring in or let's mention what the dime looks like. Now, I don't have the dime in front of me, but it's actually a silver coin. It's 80% silver um, and it features a fish, a mackerel fish on the reverse uh, surrounded with a face value. Um, of the coin which is one which is 10 cents and then the inscription down at the bottom there were 62 million of those uh, 10 cent coins that were produced there are also proof coins that were made as well those will be worth more because they're silver so those will be worth two dollars and 27 cents in the uncirculated condition uh, for the silver coins all right so unfortunately sorry i couldn't get that one to share it with you i'll zoom out a little bit but what we're looking at right here is the uh, 25 cent coin. So we're up to the quarter. This one was, as I mentioned, was made in both 80% uh, and 50% silver. Um, according to the person I purchased this from, this one right here is 80% silver, but I haven't tested uh, to see if that's true or not. I probably won't. I'll probably just hang on to it and go by uh, their word. On the reverse, you see a bobcat. It's surrounded with a face value. In the inscription, Canada, 1867 to 1967. What we see here is a species in the Canadian lynx. Um, it's a different species from its uh, Euro-Asian relative. So this is a Canadian lynx that we see right here on the reverse side, which is slightly different than the European version of the same animal. On the onto the mintages for these coins. So there are 48,855,000 of these coins that were made of these 25 cent piece coins. So to recap on the mintages, we had 345 million pennies that were made. We had 36 million five cent coins. We had 62 million 10 cent coins. And then we've got uh, 48 million of these uh, 25 cent coins. And again, these ones are either 80% or 50% silver. All right, we got through the coinage. Now let's talk about the dollar bill. Now I've got the uh, close-up camera for me right here, so I'm going to have to uh, move this a little bit. But what we see right here is the $1 bill from Canada. Sorry, it's got a little bit of a, uh, there we go, fixed the uh, glare with the light, but we see the 100th anniversary logo up here. Very nice looking coin, Bank of Canada. We'll pay to the bearer on demand, Ottawa, 1967. Now I'm going to put the camera back down and get you the stats on this right here. So what we're looking at is the $1 bill on the reverse side, which we actually haven't even looked at yet. So why don't I'll flip this over and read you uh, some information that we see here on the reverse. So on the reverse, we see the original parliament building, uh, which unfortunately was destroyed by fire in 1916. We see down here, Centennial of Canadian Confederation. And then we see uh, Canada's first parliament buildings 
and we see that same those same words in French at the bottom as well. Very nice looking one dollar bill. We see one dollar in French on the left, and then we see one dollar in English on the right. So the date of issue for this one dollar bill was January third, nineteen sixty seven. Uh, the size of it is just kind of your standard $1 bill that uh, you would expect to see uh, here in the United States. So this came out in honor of the 100th anniversary of the Confederation. A modified version of the 1954 $1 note was issued bearing the date 1967. So this is kind of a modified version of the original 1954 template. The Centennial logo was added to the front of the note in a view of Canada's original Parliament buildings, which were destroyed by fire in 1916, is on the back. All right, everyone, that's all the info that I've got for you today. So to quickly recap, we looked at some very cool uh, 18, 1967 centennial uh, $1 bill, 5 cent coin, 25 cent coin, and the 1 cent coin. And we talked about the dime, which is currently missing from my collection but I'll do my best to get it in there. All right, everyone, thank you very much, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.